my partner, he came to America when he was just a child. As a child, he came to America with his mother, who married and was a citizen of the country and everything. But he got into the wrong crowd, and after that, he became a drug addict and... You know, several other issues came up, but however, he was jailed and deported to Jamaica. Okay. After that, he was here, the same drug follow him here, you know. He used to take the drugs, I guess, the different kind of lifestyle probably depressed him or, you know, he's a drug addict. What happened now is that he's clean, thank God. He's now clean, his life has changed, married, kids, and the whole work. He's now a businessman doing well for himself, and he's done well. Okay, good. What are the possibilities when it comes to waivers for him? First of all, getting mm-hmm. a green card, he's never going to get a green card ever in his life. No, in no, no. Right. So you're talking mm-hmm. about he wants to either get a visitor's visa or Just some sort of... a visitor's, of, a visitor's yeah, visa. Because now he's okay. a, yeah, so, yeah. so this is how it works. Yeah. The waiver works <laughs> like this. All right, think of a scale mm-hmm. of justice, okay? Right. On one hand, it, first of all, you got to qualify for the visitor's visa. you got to show that you're going to come to the United States, what you're, you know, and then you're going to return home. Let's assume he qualifies Mm -hmm. for the visitor's visa and they say whatever, you know, Mr. Jones, Mr. Smith, whatever his name Mm -hmm. is, you qualify, Mm -hmm. but for the fact that you have multiple drug arrests and you were deported, so Mm -hmm. we don't give people visas Mm -hmm. like that. So then you say, okay, Mr. Smith, you can file a waiver. So this is how the waiver works, okay? All right, scales of justice. In one hand is all the bad, okay? Mm -hmm. This is, he has... Six arrests for drugs, he was ordered deported, all the bad stuff that he did in his life on one hand. On the mm-hmm. other hand, all the, good, all the good reasons, not that he's doing in his life, but all the good reasons why the United States should want this man to come to America. So what is the good reason why the United States wants this man to come to America? If it's, mm-hmm. it's not his good reason, it's what's in the interest of the United States for him to come to America. So... Mm-hmm. For example, if he's a big businessman and it's a huge business deal and he's going to employ people or invest Mm -hmm. money or whatever it may be, well, yeah, maybe the United States has a reason to want him to come. If it's, Mm -hmm. you know what, I've straightened out my life, I'm a good person now and I'd love to take my kids to Disney World, well, you know what the United States would say? That's really lovely, sir. I'm glad you straightened out your life. We're happy that Mm -hmm. everything's good with you, but what do we care whether you take your kids to Disney World or not? So, so on one hand is the reasons why he was deported and all the bad stuff he did. On the other hand is why does the United States want him back to America? And if the mm-hmm. reasons why the United States wants him back in America outweigh the reasons why the United States does not want him back in America, then he gets mm-hmm. the waiver approved. And it's, it's a discretionary basis. But, you know, it's like almost like the scales of justice in a way. I'll give you a perfect example. There was a very well-known artist from Jamaica, because you're calling me from Jamaica, Okay, Mm -hmm. and he had some drug arrests. He's now Mm -hmm. in jail in Miami. Okay, Mm -hmm. but prior to this, he had some drug arrests and Mm -hmm. he was deported. Not allowed to come back to the United States. But he was up for the Grammy Awards. Mm -hmm. Best reggae artist of the year. So he applied. This was before he went to jail. So he applied Mm -hmm. for a waiver and he got it. Because Mm -hmm. it's in the United States interest for him to come to America and accept his award. Okay, Mm -hmm. so it depends on what the reason is. Let's say mother died and she had properties and, you know, automatically it will go to her only son. That's not in the United States interest. That's in his personal financial interest. Oh, all right. But what we can do is if you want, you can have a consultation with us and we can figure out if we can qualify him somehow. So hold Mm -hmm. on one second. All right.